How goes it? I'm Wills Maxwell, and this is What Did We Miss? This is the segment where I tell you the stories WWAY did not, even though it will not impact your life at all. We begin with a touching stroke of ingenuity from Connecticut. 90-year-old Betty Ferret's mailbox is a far distance from her home. To get her mail, she would have to walk a long way and watch out for traffic, which is too much effort to put in just to get pre-approved credit cards. After taking a fall during this daily mail quest, Betty figured she needed a better way. She enlisted help from Mark Wilcox, and together they came up with this contraption that looks like it's straight out of a Little Rascal short. This pulley system is brilliant, and I'm open to any burger joints that want to set up a direct link to my place. An engineer in the UK has invented a self-driving motorcycle. Who talked to motorcycle drivers and found out what they wanted was less control of the bike? If we conducted a family feud style survey of what people like about riding a motorcycle, number one would be control of the bike. Number two, with 37% of the vote, would be helmets that make you look like you come from the future. And if you said they don't want to have control of the bike, you get a loud red X and then Steve Harvey would give you one of those solemn side to side nods. Torkel Ross Martin, the bike's inventor, says the onboard computer can react to things faster than a human brain. He says humans are typically distracted when they're driving and they're focusing on where they're heading. Ah, uh, see, that's your first mistake. You're assuming robots don't have an agenda. You think it's focusing on driving, but it's really calculating how to make this wipeout look like an accident. The prototype is currently being tested to see how it reacts with autonomous cars, but I'll tell you this right now. If you're a biker gang and I see you're not driving your bikes, instantly not scared of you. Junior Francis of Miami clung to the hood of a car going 70 miles per hour on Interstate 95. Uh, it's a clip that went viral, but if you haven't seen it yet, the best I can offer you is this reenactment from WWAY's visual effects team. Francis got into an argument with his live-in ex-girlfriend over who got to use the car. Uh, I'll let you guys guess who won that argument. Patricia Isidore says she needed the car to pick up their five-year-old. Francis hopped on the car as she was pulling off to get her to stop, which tells me uh, he does not know this person well enough. Even though it's never happened to me, I already have a pretty thorough list of which my friends would not stop if I was on their hood. Francis called 911 while riding the car's hood, and he sounded pretty calm considering. He talked to them with the same urgency I speak to Domino's. Uh, this sounds crazy until you remember it's Florida, and people there always drive on 95 like a lethal weapon set piece is happening. Isidore says she pulled off the highway and gave Francis a chance to get off the car. He refused, so she took off again. Uh, look. I get it. At this point, he's far from home, and he just needs a ride. Isidora has been charged with culpable negligence and exposure to harm. Uh, she says she plans to file a restraining order against her ex because he's so clingy. I'm Wills Maxwell, and that's what we missed.